One of the blocks that I like to make with the half square triangles is a pinwheel block. You'll find it in a lot of quilt blocks when you start quilting. So you're gonna take your half square triangles that have been all the way trimmed, and you're gonna, with the seams pressed in the same direction, so this one's going to the purple fabric and this one's to the purple fabric. I'm gonna pick them up and butt them together. So this seam is in the left, that one's to the right, and that seam will actually butt right together. When I start sewing this seam, I find it most accurate to start sewing at the bulkiest part of the seam. So I'm gonna start right here where all those seams come together. So now you can see that that seam matched up really beautifully right there where the two triangles all come together. Now with two pieces of that, this one I have the two sides of the pinwheel block. I want to show you the back side of that pinwheel block. You can see that the seams are all going in the same direction. So now when I put this seam together, this seam is going up this seam is going down, and that's gonna make it really easy to butt that seam together. But one other trick is to try to get these intersections to match really nicely in the center of the block. So to do that, flip them over, and you're gonna use a pin to first find the intersection of that seam on the back side of the top piece. Poke it through, now find the intersection of the seam on the front of the bottom piece. Keep that pin straight up and down as you grab another pin and put the pin to hold that seam together. Then you can pull this one out. Now when you sew it, sew right up to that pin. Stop just before you get to it. Take that pin out and continue the seam. Now the trick to pressing this so that you get a very flat seam in the middle is actually to do the seam separating technique. That means that you're gonna take out the last few stitches of this straight seam. So I already did that. I took out the last few stitches here, flip it over to the other side again take out the last few stitches of this seam. Now when you press it, you'll be able to open up that seam and that'll prevent them from being so much bulk. You can see how that seam has actually spun the um, little pinwheels around. So there's actually a little teeny tiny pinwheel right there in the middle. And on the front side, it's not very bulky. Your machine shouldn't have any problem machine quilting over that much fabric.